Hello guys, this video will deal with the important and the most frequently asked question from the anti-cancer section. So it is a very important topic for your exams. This is Dr. Shivam Kisarwani and I am starting with question number 1 that is Nephrotoxicity is seen with the options are azathioprine, leflunomide, mycophenolate mofetil and tacrolimus. So answer here will be tacrolimus. Now discussing the options, you see the tacrolimus is a calcineurin inhibitor. It works uh, somewhat similar to cyclosporin by inhibiting the IL-2 transcription and it is more prominent than cyclosporin. Both tacrolimus and cyclosporins are the calcineurin inhibitor and the tacrolimus is more prominent, more potent than cyclosporin and thus require therapeutic monitoring. So this calcineurin inhibitor as a class of drugs have a high risk of renal injury on their treatment. Now moving to other options like azathioprine, one question is asked that azathioprine is a prodrug and it also causes nephrotoxicity as a tubercular nephritis but it is less common than tacrolimus. And what is the most prominent side effect of azathioprine as, as it can be asked as a different question so it does bone marrow depression. Leflunomide is an immunomodulator used in severe rheumatic arthritis and it causes severe side effects like severe lung injury, interstitial lung disease, myelosuppression, etc. Now, mycophenolate mofetil, its most common side effect is GI upset and bone marrow depression and it is also used as an immunosuppression in case of refractory cases. What is DAS? The mechanism of action is that it is a inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase inhibitor. So moving to question number 2. Cerebellar ataxia is caused by options are arabinofuranosyl cytidine, bleomycin, cisplatin, busulfan. So the answer here is arabinosyl furanosyl arabinofuranosyl cytidine it is basically used intrathecally for meningeal leukemia it causes different cerebellar toxicities like ataxia slurred speech and cerebellar tox and cerebellar toxicity like seizures dementia cerebrum means cerebrum toxicities like seizures dementia and different side effects discussing other options the busulfan the main side effects are mainly myelosuppression and pulmonary fibrosis. Bleomycin, it causes uh, myelosuppression on low doses, but high doses causes cutaneous and pulmonary toxicities. And uh, certainly the bleomycin do not, do not have any neurotoxicity. So you, this rule out this option. Cisplatin, it has a more side effect of peripheral neuropathy. Now, question number 3. Which of the following is highly amitogenic? So, among the options, if you see here, uh, two options will be uh, right. That is cisplatin and high doses of cyclophosphamide. So, if you can remember, I, I will name some highly amitogenic drug. So, these are lomastine, dacabazine, actinomycin D, cyclophosphamide. ETC and this these causes highly amitogenic effect due to CTZ stimulation and also some GI effects are also there. Now question number next question which of the following given orally mesna actinomycin D doxorubicin cytosine arabinoside answer will be mesna. So what is mesna? Mesna is mercaptoethane sulfonic acid. It what it does is that it prevents hemorrhagic cystitis from the cyclophosphamide treatment. So it is a very important drug and it can be given IV as well as oral. So all other drugs are only given by IV route while mesna can be given as IV as well as oral route. So you must also remember some other uh, anti-cancer drugs which can be given orally. So these are cyclophosphamide, melphalan, procarbazine, etc. So rapidly moving to the next question which is not an alkylating agent. So the options are cyclophosphamide, chlorambucil, 5-fluorouracil, melphalan. So to answer this you just revise your 
एंटी कैंसर ड्रग एंड द नेम्स ऑफ द एल्कालेटिंग एजेंट द आंसर हियर इज फाइव फ्लोरो यूरेसिल वाई बिकॉज फाइव फ्लोरो यूरेसिल इज एन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट मेनली एंटी पैरामिडिन कंपाउंड ना मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आइफोफॉसफामाइड इज अ अगेन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एल्कालेटिंग एजेंट इट इज एल्कालेटिंग एजेंट सो वॉट इट इज इट इज अ सिंथेटिक आइसोमर ऑफ साइक्लोफॉसफामाइड एंड द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ आइफोफॉसफामाइड अपॉन इंजेक्शन इज बाई द हाइड्रॉक्सीलेशन इन द लीवर एंड वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज दैट इट इज अ सिंथेटिक आइसोमर ऑफ साइक्लोफॉसफामाइड बट इट इज नॉट अ मेटाबोलाइट ऑफ साइक्लोफॉसफामाइड basically this is used for reproductive cancers sarcomas leukemias blood cancer etc causes uh, neurotoxicity and cystitis and it it the side effects are more than cyclophosphamide so this you need to remember moving to next question egfr antagonist that is cetuximab is used in cases of so answer here is palliative treatment treatment in head neck cancer why i just uh, told you answer because i know this so i just told you so what is it mainly uh, cetuximab binds to the extra cellular domain of egfr and can be used in all those cancers which express egfr receptor so namely squamous cell carcinoma of head neck breast lung kidney prostate brain pancreas etc and what you what you, the the main point or the extra point you need to remember is that the nl cancer is resistant to chemotherapy all of the following are side effects of thalidomide except so options are hypothyroid hypothyroidism diarrhea teratogenicity deep vein thrombosis so you see diarrhea diarrhea here will be answer as the uh, among the side effects of thal thalidomide thalidomide the major is constipation and not diarrhea other most common if you see most common side effects of thal thalidomide it will be sedation and constipation sedation and constipation these are the uh, common side effects of thalidomide and the thalidomide as as such is a important topic to be read means important drug you must know about which of the following is a cell cycle cell specific cell cycle is specific anti cancer drug so answer here is vinblastine so what is vinblastin important what is vinblastin it is a m phase m phase specific cell cycle inhibitor mainly vinca it is a vinca alkaloid what it what it does is it does metaphase arrest by blocking mitotic spindles and thus it is useful for rapidly dividing tumor such as in blood cancers and reproductive carcinomas now bleomycin toxicity affects which type of cell so people means guys you get confused with this type 1 type 2 pneumocytes so what you need to remember with bleomycin is that the answer here is it causes destruction of type 1 so the key point you can remember it as ki type 1 comes first so it will be destroyed first type 1 type 1 get destroyed and thereby causing hyperplasia of type 2 मतलब होता क्या है टाइप वन जो डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है उसके कारण उसको कंपनसेट करने के लिए टाइप टू न्यूमोसाइट्स जो होते हैं वो हाइपरप्लेशिया हो जाता है उनका मतलब वो बढ़ जाते हैं बट टाइप वन का डिस्ट्रक्शन होता है